Hi everyone, welcome back to For Real. Today it's Sunday the 29th of November 2020 and just yesterday we moved into a new apartment here in Siem Reap. So this is the official number one apartment tour. We're in a completely different area to what we have been before and just down that road is a very big market called Sakraum and here is our apartment so as you can see it's a big building it has four apartments upstairs four apartments on the ground floor and a rooftop space as well so we're going and have a look as you come in the gate there's some space for parking of the motorbikes there's an apartment over there in the corner and then we are second from the end here so this is us and Welcome! <laughs> now what have we got out here? A little area, we're going to buy some chairs so we can sit out here in the evenings, which will be quite nice. A couple of plants that we brought from the old place, and on this side, one of the big baskets that Jeremy bought when he was working on the um, recycling project. So, these are brand new screen doors, and we asked the um, landlord to put these on for us before we moved in uh, so that we can leave the doors open and not have to worry about mosquitoes getting in. They're a bit flimsy but they'll do the job. So walking in we have all in one kitchen and living area. I'll give you a quick look around. So over there is the spare dining table with the water bottle on top we're going to get a set of shelves to go in there so that we can make better use of the space, but at the moment we don't have that, so it's just the chair. Then we've got the fridge, pretty much standard fridge for Cambodian houses and apartments. Microwave on top and Jeremy's helmet on top of that. And what do we have here? We have proper kitchen cupboards, which is nice. And, oh my goodness, drawers. The first apartment we've lived in that actually has drawers. Three of them. So we actually have a junk drawer now, which is something that we haven't had um, since we moved over here nearly a year ago today. We went out to Macro today to do a bit of a shop. And <laughs> there's some of the bulk stuff that we bought making use of that space. And there's our gas bottle. It's all pretty standard, but just nice that it's um, got these nice wooden cupboards covering it. And we have what is fairly common, two burner stove, feeding straight from the gas supply underneath. And then we have the sink area. So we have our draining board from the last time with the cutlery rack, which is really useful. It's a pretty cool um, tap situation here got the control on the side you can have either a rain rainfall like that or you can click it over and have that kind of output Jeremy must have changed it because I always have it on on that one anyway and we've just bought some antibacterial hand wash very important because as you might have read Cambodia has just um, had its first community transmission cases of COVID. So up until now, all the cases that have been recorded have been ones that have been people coming into the country and they've been detected through the um, quarantine process at the airport. But yeah, just um, recently we've had seven cases of community transmission. So it's anyone's guess what's going to happen from here, but I do feel like it's the start of something. But we'll see. Anyhow, we also have upper cabinets, which is um, a bit of a rarity. Nice to have the open ones where we can just keep stuff that we use that we want to grab nice and quick. And there's outside where we just came from before. Got a little table and chair there. Got my computer set up, a little workstation. Um, it's a very compact space, this apartment. It's got the built-in kind of, I don't know, I wouldn't quite call it a cabinet, built-in shelving, I suppose, for the TV and things around there. So I've got 
um, all these little little sections filled up with different things. So here's my my um, watercolor pencils, some pens, um, other stuff that I use. A couple of plants that I kept from the last time. I really like this Diplomatico bottle, so I've kept that. It's got a really nice matte finish. Some plants that I had from last time. <laughs> These things that you buy from Sakura. Nice cat bowl for when we have um, invited guests <laughs> of the four-legged variety. <laughs> and um, some more plants. More plants just for decoration, really. Just make it look a bit more homely. And here we have, importantly, our stack. Oh, where's the camera? Our stack of 100, 100 real notes. Um, nobody really does anything much with those. I think we've probably got nearly $2 in that wad. But yeah, it's just, just not practical to carry around in your wallet, that kind of thickness of cash. And then in here we've got our winning beer tags. So, you know, when you buy a can of beer here, you pull off the ring pull and underneath you can find um, some printing that tells you whether you've won another beer or not. And you can go and claim them from the shop. And we've got some hand sanitizer, I should say. There's the lounge. We have a little coffee table, um, three-seater lounge, and a little um, little kind of footrest here that you can move. You can put that in front of any of the um, seats on the lounge. So we can move it around and configure it how we want. But yeah, we changed it. It used to be facing out the door, but we changed it so that it faces towards the TV so that we can watch YouTube. Some pictures already on the wall belonging to the landlord and a really nice ceiling fan. Something that we didn't have in the other place. We had pedestal fans instead and they're just so annoying because of the floor space that they take up. We've got a range over there. Um, I think it just sucks the air into nowhere. It doesn't actually <laughs> exhaust it outside of the house. I don't know why they bother having them, but anyway. It serves as a light too, which is useful. And coming down the hallway, just bought that bath mat from Macro today, we have the bathroom. So again, this is compact, but this is a good thing. It has an exhaust fan, has... A vanity unit stuff still a bit messy there because we only moved in yesterday and I'm yet to find kind of a home for all this stuff that it's not so chaotic anyway hello uh, we have the toilet um, and associated bum gun and check out this bad boy we have oh my god a shower screen we haven't had one of those since we've moved into any apartment in Siem Reap. So <laughs> it's nice that the um, the shower curtain actually has a lock and keys. So you can, um, you can lock a person in there and say, no, you're not clean enough. You must stay in the shower. So you can't open it. Nope, nope. Unlock it. <gasps> there we go. So it has kind of a built-in shelf, which is good, except that people have just put soap straight onto it, <laughs> like we are at the moment, and it's taken the paint off, so it's a bit bit grubby and not that attractive, but we'll fix that as we go along. And there you have it. That's it. That's the shower. Water pressure here is much better than in the other place. Um, hmm, so far so good. And the last room in the house is the bedroom. So we've got, what have we got down there? A weight that I've been using, um, a few exercises that I do now and then, and a laundry basket in the corner. And then I'll just swing you around and you can see the bed. So what we wanted was an apartment where there wasn't a lot of unused space because that's what we had in the last one. And when you have big spaces in Cambodia, it means that it costs a lot more to air condition them. So we're looking for a compact space with, um, you know, no, no wasted space that would cost us money unnecessarily for cooling. So yeah, that little shelf above the bed's quite cute. Got some things up there. Got my Lonely Planet Cambodia, just in case I want to 
research some areas other than Siem Reap should we ever decide to go travelling around. Um, both the beds have got a lamp beside them and a PowerPoint, so it's been really nicely thought out. Um, they put new sheets and um, quilt and pillows on the bed for us, so all of that, this kind of bluey coloured stuff belongs to the landlord. And then we have this other blanket here that belongs to us. There's Jeremy's got a little table on his side, which is one that we bought from Macro a while back. Just like a breakfast table, I guess. You can put it on the bed and use a computer or whatever. Um, what else have we got? Before we go outside, we've got the wardrobe. It's built in. It's a nice big one with um, cupboards at the top. So... The cupboards at the top are big enough that we have our suitcases stored in them, so we don't need to have those down um, where we have to look at them all the time. There's the air conditioner. And let's have a look in here. All right, so we'll probably do a bit more rearranging in here once we have time, but it's got kind of two hanging rungs there. So we're sharing that top rung at the moment. Um, and then it's got a higher shelf that Jeremy's mainly using because he's much taller than me and he can reach that shelf easily. And then he's got a shelf here for his Jeremy junk, all his cables and things like that that he has. And then I've got two for my clothes, the clothes that I have that aren't hanging, of course. And the bottom ones, it's got like shoes and other backpacks and a bit of miscellaneous junk. But it's a good size wardrobe and it's kind of nice that it's built in. It has a nice feeling of spaciousness. And the nice thing about this apartment is that um, we're in the middle of the block so we don't have any side windows because there's an apartment on each side. But front and back we have these nice big light doors letting in lots of light. Very nice. There's no screen on this one. We might put a screen on it ourselves. Um, just see how that goes because it is really nice and shady out here and always a nice kind of breeze coming in. So there's a bit of a space where you could put a garden there, which we might, um, but it's just a really handy space to have out the back here. So we've got the drying rack for the laundry. And as you can see, it's secure. They've got like a rolls of razor wire going along the top. And then other stuff that we're storing. Um, haven't quite worked out what to do with that stuff, but it could end up just staying there. So, yeah, you can see the other apartments going down there. So as you can see, it's a small, um, small space, but highly functional. Again, the bedroom's also got a ceiling fan. So just walking back out through here, and just put a couple of screws into here to hang our keys from, which is handy. Um, it's always good to know where to look for the keys. <laughs> yeah, and that's about it. So just thought I'd show you the laundry facilities here because you might have noticed we don't have our own washing machine. It's a shared situation, but that's okay because there is a solution and that's fine. There's our shrine. We have a security guard here and he, at night times, and he sits over here looks out for the place, which is nice. And down here is where we'll find the laundry. Just go around here and around and around and around. And there is the washing machine. So it's a pretty grubby looking top loader, but it's 10 kilo. Panasonic, I'm sure it will do the job just fine. There's a toilet there as well, <laughs> in case you're really, really desperate. Okay, next stop is the rooftop. Go and have a look up there, see what's to be seen. Oh, it's so nice not to have to go upstairs anymore just to get to our apartment. But I am willing to go up the stairs to show you the rooftop. That's the entrance to the apartments on the first level. And then we go up again. It's funny, these steps get really steep on the last. Oh my god. 
last run. See what we can see up here. Oh, who that? It's Jeremy. <laughs> Horse mural. Here we go. Have a look around. It's a much more local area, this one, than where we've lived before. I quite like that. Yeah, so there's a the road to Sarkraum, just there. There's an empty allotment just there. Kids were flying kites over there earlier. I see some dogs, which I don't like very much. But as long as they stay over there, I'm okay with it. Hope they don't come walking over here. And on the other side, so that road down there will take you up to BBU Road, so Bill Bright University Road. And then if you turn right into BBU, that'll take you into the town center. So that's where, where we are in relation to town center. I suppose we're south, I don't know, southwest of the city center. Looking forward to exploring around a lot more, and getting to know what's down all these little dirt roads and nooks and crannies everywhere. It's going to be fun. So that's the end of the apartment tour. This is our third, actually our fourth apartment here in Siem Reap. And this one comes in cheaper than all of the other ones at $160 a month. So you have to pay electricity on top of that, but we don't have to pay for um, Wi-Fi. So it's good. I hope you enjoyed the apartment tour. Um, so we've signed a six-month lease for $160 a month. We probably would have got a lower price if we'd signed up for longer, but we just want to have the option of moving again in six months if we feel like exploring something else, going to a different area. Um, who knows? So it's just nice not to be tied down any further than that. As always, it'd be great if you could like and subscribe. Check out our links. Check out um, links to the other people YouTubing in Siem Reap, Cambodia. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.